Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to look at how you can install DPA connector on Windows. So let's get started. So as a first step, so we are going to install this DPA connector to connect to the database. So I have spin off a couple of databases. Uh, so one of my database is still available. So we are uh, using FKDN so during our connector installation. So here, so what I did, I spin off a uh, one of the Windows connector. So using AWS EC2 service, and then we will be connecting to this EC2 instance to install our connector. If I go to the CyberArk DPA, in the DPA, so what you have to do, so you have to go to the to the introduction page. From the introduction page, you can click on set up the connections. So you will be able to configure a new pool. So let's configure a new pool using all platforms because using all platforms, you will be able to access to the VM using the vaulted account and you will be able to access to the database and Kubernetes as well. I'm gonna click on next. So here I'm gonna say DP windows connector pool. So here we have to define the FKDN and FKDN we are going to use a wildcard. So what we are going to define here, so all the databases uh, present in the US East 2 region should be able to use this connect pool. So I'm gonna go to my FKDN. So I'm just putting a wildcard dot US East 2, which is my Ohio region dot RDS dot Amazon AWS dot com. And then we are going to click on create button. So now our connector pool has been uh, created successfully. We are going to add a connector within this connector pool. I'll click on uh, on-prem connector. So here, this is what our connector pool is, DPA Windows connector pool. We are going to click on next. So I'm going to select Windows. We are gonna click on Next. So then it is going to provide us a script. So this is a long strip. So what we have to do, so I have connected to my uh, EC2 machine. So we are gonna open PowerShell in administrator mode. And then I'm going to copy this script. I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to press enter. So it will take around 30, 40 seconds to install the connector. So you can see the connector installation has been done successfully and connector has been assigned to the DPA Windows connector pool. If we come to the connector pool name, so here you can see the connector has been registered successfully. Again, if you wanna achieve a high availability, if you wanna achieve a scalability, you can add more number of connectors in this connector pool. If you guys are facing any kind of issues, so we have a comprehensive documentation and then we provide uh, all the different details about how to install it, how to troubleshoot it. And if you wanna remove a connector also, so you will be able to see all the different details. So thanks a lot everyone for watching this short.